Hello, welcome to Screencast on Goal Setting uh, in Sports Performance from the Sports Psychology Unit. So if we have a quick look then, specification, what's it asking? Um, so it's asking particularly, you have to have an understanding of the importance and effectiveness of goal setting. And this, this, the reason why goal setting is important, for example, you might have heard people talk about set short, medium, long-term goals, or you might have heard of the SMART principle. It's because it allows these key things to happen. So it, goal setting is extremely effective because it allows attentional focus, it allows people to be persistent, for example, keep trying, uh, it can raise confidence if you get a goal that's achievable and then you do it, that makes you feel quite good, so your confidence uh, will be raised, it allows the control of arousal anxiety, if you're really nervous about something or anxious about something, setting yourself an achievable goal can really help, and finally it allows you to monitor whether what you're doing, whether it be study or sport, is actually effective. So that's why you set goals, and this according to our specification, is how you set goals via the SMART principle. So you've got specific, measurable, achievable, recorded, and time-phased or time-based. You've got to make sure you learn these and know them. That acronym is set up for itself. Uh, we'll use one for this as well. So if I just go through, if you make yourself notes on why people set goals and then how you should set goals, uh, before I do that, I'm able to just show you uh, an example of some exam questions you could get. So these are then... Um, the, the more recent uh, exam questions that you could get. So basically, first one, describe how goal setting could uh, can impact on participation and performance in sport. So when you see that, describe how goal setting can impact on participation and performance in sport. You know that is talking about the things before. So the, the, the principle we'll look at in a minute. The other type of question you get could be an interpretation question. And it says here, like you've got some information here. Um, so it's got some example of uh, some people's kind of focus, their current time, season PB, aim, time scale. And then it's got all of these kind of monitoring things here. What it's asking you to do is to interpret the data there here from um, the athlete and then say, using the information in figure seven, explain how three elements of the smart goal setting principle have been applied. So you've got to draw out your knowledge from there, but ultimately, you're going to have to know what SMART is. So if I go on to the actual content then, what we're looking at, importance and effectiveness of goal setting. Why do we set goals? So, right, confidence. So if you achieve a goal, it can raise your confidence. That's the first thing. Massively linked to short-term goals. You don't have to put that if you don't want to. Other reasons why it's good is it will allow um, the control of anxiety and arousal. Okay, so by when you achieve a goal, if you set a goal that is achievable, okay, and realistic, this makes you, the anxiety, kind of a fear of failure, lower. Other things, it can, uh, it can increase your attentional focus, okay, so it allows you to focus on specific areas that you're focusing on. For example, it might be um, using the laces when shooting in football, okay, that gives you an attentional focus, it stops you looking at things or focusing on things you shouldn't be doing. Then, it allows you to monitor whether you have made um, kind of improvements so it helps to perform a focus via making sure you've achieved what you, you're supposed to be doing and finally it gives you that persistence to carry on doing things so for example your goal is to um hit a i don't know increase your pass percentage by five percent in rugby and you do that it makes you want to carry on doing it okay so if it's achieved it's effective because you want to keep trying keep doing it in the exam you're going to need to know these key phrases these are why People set goals. This is why goals are important and effective. And um, acronym you can just put into there. No link to anything really. So you can just put CAMP down there. So C A A A M P. So we'll work at making sure you can remember that. And then going on from there, the other section then is how do we set these goals? So if you go on to here, we've got the goal setting is done via the SMART principle. This is used in business, uh, so you would have probably heard of this if you do any subject that involves uh, some kind of motivation or goal setting. So SMART principle then, it says that firstly, you've got to make sure your kind of goal is specific, okay? So it must relate to the task that you're trying to do, okay? So you can't say, uh, you know, you're trying to work on passing and then you, you make a goal that's to do with dribbling. It's got to be specific to the task that you're doing. Measurable, okay? So you must measure your progress to a, a to a kind of baseline standard. So, for example, I got a 60% pass success rate um, in the first analysed game, and then you're going to see what you get in the second game, pass success percentage. So you've got a, a kind of a baseline standard to, to measure progress against. Achievable, okay, so it must be attainable. 
for challenging. Okay, that's key. If it's if it's way too hard, it's going to lose motivation. If it's way too easy, you're going to lose motivation as well. So you've got to make sure it's achievable, challenging but attainable. Recorded. You must make sure. Um, the, pro the progress and the goal towards it is kind of written down. You have a, a kind of almost like a, a goal diary or a, a training diary where, you know, it's written down and you know that you, it's been recorded at the start and recorded at the end. Finally, timed, it should have a specific deadline. So you're going to try and improve your um, success percentage in passing by 10% in three weeks. Very similar. If I asked you now, you did this for your coursework talk, now you get to have an understanding of specifically um, what each part is. So pretty straightforward, goal setting, the SMART principle. You need to make sure you have a bit of an idea of how to describe these, but you must, the biggest thing is we've got to be able to link them to sporting examples. So if you look back to the question I gave you here, you might have a look at that now. We'll give you it in tomorrow's lesson. You might have already done it if you've looked ahead uh, in the exam question booklet, having a look at this. So if you looked at this, anything in there that you can see how three elements of the SPARK goal setting principle have been applied. I will give you another scenario in the lesson, but please try and make quick notes on this. I don't think it's too much. Importance, SMART principle. Okay, thank you.